this is a form that I created um, on Mudbox. So basically there were three planes and I just sculpted it. And uh, this is a program that I'm told animators use. Not too many architects use it. Certainly not in designing buildings. Um, so, so let's say here's the three planes that I kind of manipulated. And then I took that to Alias Sketchbook and I turned it into a building. So here are the escalators going up to these floors. These are people. So, so what was intuitively sculpted um, now can potentially become a building. Um, here's another example of another manipulated planes. And these look very organic. It's not. Yeah, and it, you know, I, if you look at the buildings that I've designed, I, I like to sculpt them. I see them as three-dimensional, giant sculpture. So, so this is this allows me to uh, intuitively sculpt these. But the unique thing about it is, if you notice the grid on it, all of these are coordinates in the cyberspace. So when I draw something like this my team can take this file and actually construct this. So if this is a roof of a building, they can get every shape that I have sculpted. It's almost like taking a piece of paper and folding and manipulating that. Now, now I have it with all the coordinates and dimensions in cyberspace, and then the team can take this file and then start to construct that. So, Let's say I did this without any intent, and then I said, well, if we flip it, this could be potentially a high-rise project, and this is what came out of it. So here's high-rise, entry, floors, people like that. So for, for those designers that, that are very much into drawing, sculpting, working intuitively, but have experience to kind of turn that into a building or constructed form, this certainly is a tool that, that comes very handy. So let me just show, um, let's see what else. Here's another one. Here's another plane that I work with and I believe I started making it into something. Drawing on it and drawing that. So this is this is working on number of in with number of mediums and platforms. You know, sculpting something in Mudbox, bringing it into alias sketchbook and sketching on it. Uh, there are times where um, I just initiate a sketch from from scratch. Some of these are big files. So this is a um, Ordos concert hall that we're doing in Inner Mongolia. And I was working with a design team in Los Angeles and a design team in our Shanghai office. So on a daily basis, I was sketching and emailing it to the team, no matter where I was in the world, talking about the organization of the plan, how might the section of the building be organized, some ideas about the skin of the building, and this is 2007 when we were doing the project. So, and then I would take this and I would email it to um, to the team. Um, here's another, well this is I think it's similar to that. Um, here's another closer examination of the floor plan. So, you know, the, here's the concert hall, performance theater. So creating the geometry, and this is all freehand, and then being able to email that to the team, and then they would construct the floor plans, and B can kind of show you where those plans and buildings are. Um, now let me, let me just do a quick sketch. So normally I, I work in alias, and uh, let's say, you know, I want to draw a building. I 
I can start thinking about materials. And this is the part that I didn't, you know, I was concerned that my um, tablet would not allow me to be able to do things like this. You know, really look at This is not something I can do on my sketchbook, to be able to look at potentially a color of the, the metal around a building. And obviously you have to have experience with materials and drawing and you know the ability to start looking at what the definition of that is and maybe some How about some color? How about and maybe some people? How about some So this potentially could be a concept that you know I've just developed for a building and if I'm traveling somewhere I can send it to the team and I could say you know the plan may be something like this and uh, <clears throat> and why don't we start looking at you know how this building might be developed. And then they would take something like this and they would start using this as an inspiration and build this form in the computer and send me emails and then I start drawing on top of that. A couple of birds. And sometimes uh, these drawings actually are used for presentation to the client. You make that look too easy. It's taken 20, 30 years of experience. <laughs> well, thank you very much for sharing uh, your talent with us. Absolutely.